Okay. I don't know if it hit. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Turban Talks. We are Raghav and Gurmeet. I am Raghav. He is Gurmeet. So today we're talking about gun control. Gurmeet, do you want to elaborate on what gun control exactly is? Yes, for sure, Raghav. Thank you for handing it over to me. And basically, what gun? I'm sorry. Okay. So what gun control is? In literally, what how we say it, gun control. It's simple words. Preventing or restricting citizens from get, getting guns, right? Uh, I I'd go into like the definition of it, but in simple terms, it's it has a lot of politics behind it. But uh, it's basically restricting an individual or citizens from gaining ac- easy access to a gun, right? Yeah, gun control basically makes it harder for you to get a gun uh, because you have to go through a number of background checks, mental state, and everything is checked. So uh, that's that. And most countries uh, around the world, I think, a lot like majority of the developed countries. have restricting restrict, restricting firearms uh, policies where they make it harder for uh, citizens to gain access to a gun and that's literally how gun control works uh and in almost literally and as i said in every developed country at least i've seen that uh, gun control is a major thing it's very straightforward everyone agrees with it it's an objective truth uh, it's uncontroversial right and uh, people think that yeah we should have background checks there should be a long process for you to possess a gun because it's a, it's a huge responsibility owning a gun and having a gun at home uh so that's that but i think there's just one country where gun control is a very controversial topic and people have very radical belief systems and i think you guys would have guessed it already it is the united states of america without a doubt Uh, so basically, the goal of gun control, as he's mentioned, is to prevent someone who wants to harm themselves or wants to harm others from having an easy access to guns. Uh, there's a statistic where in US, 40% of the gun sales do not go through a background check because they take place online at gun shows or through classified ads. And guns are just like very easily found in the United States. I've heard that they sell guns at Walmart's, and from 1999 to 2016. There were over five hundred thousand gun deaths, uh, and a study by Lancet project projects that introducing background checks could reduce firearm deaths by around fifty-seven percent. So, Gurmeet, do you want to like talk to us a bit about? You know, we've spoken so much about why gun control is good. Do you want to tell us why guns could actually be good if gun control is like objectively so good? Why do some people still want to have guns? Yeah. So, I think the. most basic and first point people bring up that even for me makes sense although i'm anti guns a bit is that self defense right it's a uh, a gun okay firstly i'm taking it out of the way getting it out of the way having a gun is a big responsibility you need to know how to use it you need to be trained with the usage of it you need to make sure your other family members like if you're married especially uh you know your kid doesn't get hold of it because there are a lot of deaths that happen in the us where kids accidentally like don't know what it is so that's a sad thing that happens but uh other than that security and like self defense right uh, in the united states especially i know other countries as well it's not that safe especially if you're living in uh country sides and very rural areas which is very predominant in the united states the many farmlands and i'll take an example of a state <laughs> that people who will will be able to relate to wyoming uh ohio all these idaho all these places which are a little you know less infrastructure strong uh facilities like 911 and all these police stations are not like very close to them right it's it's probably the nearest police station like 30 20 30 miles away so you have to have a way of defending yourself and that's the primary argument that people who are almost semi anti gun control uh bring up that we need to be able to protect ourselves as citizens from bad guys so any armed criminals or any robbers so that's like the first point people bring up self defense uh yeah yeah so sasha band cohen i i think all of you guys would know him he played borat so he had this series in 2018 which was a political satire called who is america so in that he would like disguise himself and kind of like trick politicians and try to get them to Say very interesting stuff, which I will not be talking about over here. If you have time, go watch it. Uh, so one of the Republican politicians in that, when he went and 
told them that he wants to introduce a program where they train toddlers to use guns. So one of the politicians from that said that bad individuals are going to find a way to get weapons anyway. So it's for the self-defense of an individual. If like these guys are going to be able to get the guns anyway, then why not make it uh, convenient for the people who are good to also get it? That's a very, yeah. That, uh, no, 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 it's okay. But like, that's a very hot take though. Like, was he saying that like, uh, you should train toddlers to know how to handle a gun? So like, who is America? Basically, uh, Sasha Ban Cohen, he played Borat. So his entire thing is, you know, like going in disguises and uh, trying to trick people into saying stuff. Like, it's not tricking. It's more of, you know, I would like to think it's revealing the truth. Uh, so like he went to Bernie Sanders and he's like, uh, socialism is not bad because, you know, you can just put everyone in the top 1% if you just add two zeros, something like that. And then it becomes 100%. He said something like that, but like Bernie didn't fall for it. But then he went to like a bunch of uh, Republican politicians and he proposed uh, guns for toddlers. And uh, like one of them actually said, this is very stupid. I'm not just going to like promote it. I don't know who you are. And then instantly cuts to like a series of politicians who are like, yes, we stand with this. This is very good. So the whole thing is uh, political satire, but it's also real. So I'd, I'd recommend watching it, you, the audience. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, uh, go Nerf watch it. moment, dude. <laughs> but but like, be advised, it is uh, not safe for work. Yeah, there'll be like swear words and stuff. Don't watch it with parents. <laughs> okay, so uh, anyways, like now that we've talked about why people kind of go anti-gun control and support the usage of guns. By the way, just a little. Uh, uh, wait, actually, it's okay. Fine. We'll, I'll let Raghav do it. We'll just go to why uh, people are pro-gun control and why people say that, you know, guns are bad, which we both agree with, by the way. <laughs> let me just say that. Okay, so uh, the reason the Second Amendment, this is like very US specific. The reason the Second Amendment was uh, like one of the reasons it was introduced, not just hunting, was like so that you can rise in rebellion against a tyrannical government in case it's there. But now that threat doesn't exist, right? The government has multiple sectors. There's the House, there's the Senate, there's the president themselves who are all elected by the people. It is impossible simply because of how many people there are for one person to take control or for them to entirely go against, uh, you know, the majority of people that are there. It's simply impossible. So there's no requirement for that as such. And for the hunting argument, if you have gun control, you can still use it for hunting to an extent. I don't uh, necessarily like have any opinion pro or uh, against hunting. I haven't done enough research into it. Uh, but yeah, it's your choice. If it's allowed by but law. I think uh, for, for, for the, the thing is when like the Second Amendment was passed, right? Uh, the problem was this is like, I'm talking Second Amendment was like 300 years back. Three, no, not 300, sorry, like 200. Wait, let me just Google this. When was Second Amendment passed? Because I'll explain something very amendment passed. And, okay, so it says 70, yeah, I was 300 years back, almost 300 years back, 1791, 1700s, basically. Okay, uh, if when I say that, 1791, and I think the Declaration of Independence was like 15 years before or something. I'm sorry, my history is bad. But the, the thing was, people... Uh, the second amendment like to possess arms was passed because around the world not in the united states around the world uh you were seeing rises rise of dictatorships constantly like uh in different in europe and i don't know the, the empires now but in europe you had uh certain people rising up as dictators and you know the government which was formed over there like we president france and stuff they were slowly like dismantling because of one person gaining power and that's why the second amendment was passed so people in case like this ever happens people can rebel and they can throw to, like they can overthrow a government if they become corrupt thing is in modern day 21st century you only see dictatorships happening in specific redacted countries uh which i won't name uh but it's very rare right and especially when you have such a fixed foundation uh, like the United States or even take a country like India uh, or take any country in, in Europe, you have a fixed government now. And as Raghav mentioned, you have certain steps to overthrow the government. You have a no confidence motion in almost every country, which can be passed at any time with the majority of the house. And 
you're not going to see politicians pulling up with guns uh, to overthrow the government you won't see the opposition coming out with rifles and stuff yeah there was this there was this video by the onion where somebody actually did that like there was this parody but uh, my point is in real life you're not going to see that happening so the whole idea of possessing guns the very foundation why the second amendment was passed is now redundant so that's one of the reasons why i think people believe key the use of or the need for guns as such now is gone because the primary p- purpose that it was f- made for is non-existent now and the second thing is self defense and stuff but that's not why the second amendment was passed some people are misinformed anyways coming to the second point it's about gun deaths as raghav earlier mentioned and school shootings mass shootings happening not only in schools but in public places okay as raghav said said between i think 1999 and 2016 there were 500000 gun deaths which is absurd i mean i don't know about you guys but 500000 lives is a lot of lives uh, to lose just because of one reason in 17 years uh, and the fact that the united states doesn't have strict regulations is goes to show like it's synonymous with the amount of gun deaths you have you don't see 500000 people getting killed in a span of 17 years in any other country because of guns okay maybe there was a war but that i'm not counting that but school shootings really really just saddening school shootings like you know the uh, the one that happened in that elementary school sandy hooks elementary school uh, I, have you heard of it raghav yeah 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 so things like that shootings in a church in a religious place in uh, you know there was this jewish I, i don't remember the thing now but happening in churches in places of public gathering in malls in walmarts in targets it's it's just really sad to see that even after all of these atrocities people still think that gun control should not be there because the number of deaths that happen is it's just a very it's very horrifying to think of that people still i'm saying this in a very serious tone you can't see my face but it's very horrifying to see such stuff happening and the government not doing anything about it or still supporting the usage of guns to every citizen without any background that's my view on it yeah i i completely agree with that point it's it's very disheartening to see that an issue that can be so easily solved has not yet like there has not been taken there, there hasn't been any action taken and it's weird to see that some people are still anti gun control but like if you look at new if you look at new zealand right uh new zealand there was a shooting that happened in 2018 2017 something like that in christ church uh it's a place in new zealand it's a city uh where the the shooter actually live streamed the thing on facebook This is an old story you can search it up Christchurch shooting and after that incident the prime minister within 48 hours New Zealand's prime minister I don't know who she is uh I know she's a great lady she banned uh, automatic weapons or semi automatic weapons within 48 hours she made this this huge decision within 48 hours just because of the loss of like 30 40 lives or i think even even if it's 100 lives she made this decision almost immediately so new zealand was quick quick to react i don't know why the united states is so scared even after losing 500000 lives i don't know why that happens uh, honestly like just again very sad sad thing to see but it is what it is it's just a lot of politics involved yeah and like another point that we want to bring up is there would be less gang violence uh and you know like it's very disheartening as i both of us have mentioned before to see school shootings and it's also very disheartening when you know the person personally or they've had or there's some celebrity who's had a great impact on your life such as uh triple x tupac biggie these were like triple x until like his death he was not as prominent and obviously hasn't had as much of an impact as tupac and biggie but i do know that all three of these artists along with many others who have died due to gun violence have had a major impact on many people's lives rap has personally helped me Same. get through tough phases eminem not like he's Same. luckily still alive uh but yeah it's it's an issue that's very easily solved and something needs to be done could my over to you for the outro or if you want to add anything i think i i i just wanted to add that about the gang violence thing as well that uh you see you see a lot of i think in 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 very like neighborhoods where children grow up 
you see them from a young age being uh i've seen this in many shows and stuff and i'm not sh- i'm pretty sure it's not stereotyping because they would have taken some sort of inspiration from somewhere you see kids who grew up in this gang violence and in these sh- areas where like shooting and guns are heard almost every day and they grow up in this environment and they continue to do the same they grow up into those people and like that cycle that vicious cycle continues on and on forever and we somehow are not able to get out of that cycle which is something that i think i think if uh, gun controls taken seriously and some measures are made uh, will people will be able to get out of this vicious cycle uh you know we'll be able to see uh an improved i think uh just improved overall life around around the world and uh, i think we, it i say it for both of us that we are anti guns we believe that there should be gun control if we ever gave off any other vibes that we are not we're not pro guns although i showed a nerf gun and everything i'm not pro gun we're anti guns and we think that gun control will make a positive positive impact in a life in general and yeah that's all i wanted to add so that brings us to the end of the episode sorry if we got a bit uh, dark uh, serious a uh, bit over there but it's it's a topic that needs to be addressed and it's a very serious topic it's nothing to laugh about uh and yeah that that was it for the episode if you guys enjoyed it hit the like button comment down below what your views are on gun control and if uh, you want us to cover anything else as well let us know uh, we'll see you all in the next episode bye from my side thank you guys bye bye